Hello and welcome back to SF at Giants Recap and it's opening day, super exciting except that the Giants, they lost 6-4 to to the Padres. So we're going to go over everything in today's game. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying. And so we're going to head into how the offense did in today's game because there were some positives. Michael Conforto, three hits, a home run today, an RBI, scored three runs in today's showing. Great performance by Michael Conforto. If you were going to ask me who would be the guy to show up today and do hit get three hits and score the most amount of runs, Michael Conforto would probably be last on my list. And so really great to see him come through with the power, hitting a double and a home run. Great to see there from Conforto. Uh, Nick Ahmed, two hits, two RBIs. He came in clutch today twice, not just once, but twice. And he's looking really good. His swing was looking good, made a great play in the field. And overall, I think this this was a great pickup from us. Uh, Jung Hoo Lee got his first major league hit and got an RBI on a sack fly. The unfortunate thing about his first MLB hit is the next pitch or pickoff he got picked off. So that's unfortunate. But the Giants, though, we lost because mainly of the pitching. Um, Logan Webb pitched amazing. Six innings, allowed two runs, got five strikeouts, pitched out of a jam, and most of the hits were just like little bloops, a little infield hit. And so Logan Webb, there's really nothing to be worried about with him. And spring training, I guess, was just kind of rough patch for him. And he's looked back to where he was last year in today's start. So my kind of worry, like my nervousness about him in spring training, I don't think is warranted now since we saw him uh, pitch really well today. Luke Jackson, though, uh, he got no outs today. Allowed three runs, could not locate, and went out with an injury. So that is all you need to know with Luke Jackson is look out to see if and there's any updates. And hopefully he gets better and works on that command because that curveball was not, not working today. Ryan Walker also kind of struggled today. He pitched one inning, allowed two hits, one run. Did get one strikeout, but just did not look like the Ryan Walker we want and we're used to. But Eric Miller, he pitched one inning. Pitched great. Allowed no hits, no walks, got one strikeout in his MLB debut. So great to see from Eric Miller. But the Giants, they could just not pull away. We allowed way too many just singles, infield hits. Uh, Patrick Bailey had an error. And I don't blame that on Nick Ahmed because he there's nothing really Nick Ahmed could do on this play. It was awkward in between hop. Uh, Patrick Bailey should know better if it's in the dirt or something, you don't have to throw it, especially when there's a runner on third. You don't throw it if there's any sort of bobble, and that's just something that Bailey will learn along the way, but hopefully he picks it up sooner than later. Um, Mike Yastrzemski, three strikeouts today. The strikeouts, they kill us. We had 10 strikeouts in today's game, and what I've said is if we have 10 or more strikeouts, we probably lost that game, and we lost today. We had 10 strikeouts. Just the thing with strikeouts is you don't put anything in play, you don't put pressure on the defense, you don't move runners over, and so the strikeouts, we have to limit them. But we did get a sacrifice bunt down, which scored, which ended up having those two runs score. So really good to see Bob Melvin using the sack bunt, and Gabe Kapler, you would never see that. So Bob Melvin's already doing a lot better and putting some new type of baseball in that the Giants haven't seen for a few years. So... Uh, we hopefully will keep implementing that into the Giants kind of play style and get some things working that way. Uh, that will do it for today's recap. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully the Giants can come back tomorrow and put a win in the win column. So I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video.